Especially as everybody's trying to be an influencer and everybody wants to be a lifestyle influencer. That's cool. But baby, keep me in the lane of the kingdom, okay? It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow. But I'ma be under the mistletoe. Thank you Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. It was important for me to choose a Birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because Birch mattresses are Green Guard Gold certified, meaning no harsh chemicals are used. In addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that through the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to the original well-loved Birch natural mattress. I've had my Birch mattress for two months now and I love it. What I like most is the quality of sleep I get every night so I can wake up feeling refreshed. I also got the mattress topper which made my bed feel like a cloud. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. The best part about all of this is that Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash Maya for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Check out Birch today. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Don't mind my hair. We're gonna explain that in a second. First of all, I feel like I have not freaking vlogged in so long. I've been making a lot of content videos. You know what I mean. Trying to end the year off right. I had a lot of promos to do, so I had to do a lot of content videos. But y'all, I just I needed to talk to y'all. Like I feel like, <laughs> girl, we haven't we haven't called each other in a while. You been ghosting me. Maybe I've been ghosting you. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're here and I just it's a lot going on. So first and foremost Today I'm filming two videos today And that's why my hair looks like this because I'm about to film a hygiene routine video, which thank you For running up my last hygiene routine. My other one was like a smelling clean type of video Now I'm gonna do a smelling sweet type of video And I went to Ulta and I'm gonna show you guys what I got but so I'm gonna film that and then I gotta film a clothing haul and just like the influencer life gets real and I really wanna have a conversation about this sometime in this vlog but I just wanna talk about like the behind the scenes stuff you don't see. I recently got one of the biggest deals I've ever gotten but like I just wanna talk about all the stuff that's tied to that. Like it's not as simple and easy as it seems and there really is tea on being an influencer so I'm gonna tell you about it. But so here's what I got from Ulta. All of these products are like re-ups. I've used them before and basically it's just stuff that's going to, well at Ulta first of all, I'm a Sephora type of girl. I went to Ulta. It don't give. I'm gonna just say that. It just does not give. I just got some little shower stuff, exfoliating glove. I've wanted one of these for so long. It's like the back scrubber bomb. Make sure you watch this hygiene video, girl. I'm putting y'all on. I got a Gushua. Is it called a Gushua? Gushua? Girl, you know when these went viral on TikTok? in 2020 and everybody was using them then everybody stopped using them when i was using mine i feel like it actually worked to like 
you know i'm gonna try it again hopefully i can be consistent and then i got this what is how do you say this before i do this video wade is it wade is it wade please don't play with me right now i'm literally gonna look up the pronunciation because y'all yeah, i'm about to do me but this is such a sweet smelling exfoliator and then i went to target I went to Target to get a new body wash and I ended up going with this Olay one. It's sugar and cocoa butter. Sugar and cocoa butter. So we're going to do that for my shower routine. And then I'm going to film a haul. Finally, I feel like I can just talk to y'all. Oh my gosh, there's just been a lot going on. I've just been very busy with work, trying to get all this done, stuff done by the end of the year. I have a lot of deadlines that I have to reach. And it's a lot. I am going to end up... Okay, let's talk about the hair. I'm going to end up pressing out my hair today. But since I'm doing the shower routine first, I have to wait. So for right now, I'm literally just putting it in a claw clip because I'm going to take a shower. So I can't have it... I can't straighten it before the hygiene routine. I'm going to straighten it for the haul. It's a lot behind this, y'all. It's a lot. Okay. So Genesis just went down for a nap. So this is the time, y'all. It's now or never to make this hygiene video. I'm going to talk to y'all after I make the hygiene video. I just ordered some groceries. So maybe we'll look at what I got from the grocery store. But yeah, girl, it's basically going to just be catching y'all up on my whole entire existence. I'm not doing vlogmas, unfortunately. I feel like I know my limits. And right now I have so many deadlines already. I can't imagine trying to do vlogmas. So I think I got y'all next year. But right now, it's just not going to give what needs to be. Also, what do y'all think about my Christmas theme intro? Very much in the Christmas spirit. Okay, I think this vlog I actually am going to try to get in the Christmas spirit because I've just been like avoiding it. Like we need to go get a Christmas tree. We need to do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to do this hybrid routine and I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Psych girl, I'm back. Okay, so I want to show you something before I start filming. Because like I said, I want to show you like the ins and outs of being an influencer. Okay, boom. So, I am signed to an agency. Shout out my good sisters. If you watching, love you. But, okay, so I'm going to go in and find the brief for this campaign. So, basically, I'm doing a hygiene routine video. And I'm partnering with, like, this little self-care brand or whatever. So, what we got to do is go and find the campaign in my projects. So whenever a company partners with you, they'll send you a content brief. Yeah, where your daddy at, girl? Where your daddy at? It's gonna be a lot. Hold on. Can mommy work? So here's their brief. Usually it's like a Google Doc or whatever. And I'll just talk about the product. Um, it's very important to look at your brief before you shoot because they might ask you for certain... Um, like shooting requirements like a certain shot you have to get or whatever like for this one it's a campaign where I'm supposed to give a gift away so if I wouldn't have looked at the brief I wouldn't have known that so very important to just go through your brief sometimes they're pretty lengthy so you have to just go through everything make sure everything's good before you start filming so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that um my management team uses the software podio basically it helps them to just organize all of my campaigns and everything like that and i really like podio like how it works so yeah just a little insight on that um i do want to talk about the campaign i just landed <laughs> when i would hear about people making like thirty thousand dollars for a campaign i would be like yeah right I'm going to just say God is good because like obviously I don't want to give all the details of the campaign like you know like legal stuff but um it's just crazy <laughs> girl like God be doing a thing or two or three or four or five or six or seven. all the glory to him because I don't even know girl I'm, I'm just here I don't know how I got here but I'm just here by the grace of God so <clears throat> that all of that goes to say there is a huge 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 business in social media and it's growing it's growing majority of brands use social media marketing as their main form of marketing <clears throat> that's great for influencers because that means more promotions and more deals for you so 
just wanted to come on here and talk about that for a little bit if you guys have like specific questions i ain't telling y'all how much money i make because a lot of y'all be <laughs> trying to know numbers i'm not going to talk about numbers but if any of you have specific questions on like how to get signed to an agency or things like that leave that down below and i'll try in my next vlog to talk about it a little bit more but i did not get signed to an agency until so i was independent for two years my husband managed me for a year and i just recently signed about three months ago to the agency that i'm signed with now and they're amazing like complete just they've they've shocked me with what they've been able to like do for me so i would say don't sign to an agency until you are consistently getting sponsorships to the point where it's overwhelming i didn't give up um like my management because i would manage i managed myself for two years so i didn't allow somebody else to manage me until i physically could not anymore until there were so many inquiries that i was overwhelmed so i would just say take it slow don't think you have to sign to an agency right off the back be independent for a little bit but then definitely when you're at that point sign to an agency because it definitely is overwhelming like, i get so many inquiries a day from brands and girl i just it's a lot for me it's, it's a lot so here goes my team right now probably asking me if i'm filming the video that i'm filming right now so for this specific campaign, it was so um, overwhelming because the product got here late and then the brief didn't match the product. So I couldn't film on the day that I needed to film. So that literally threw off everything. So I had to basically reschedule a whole bunch of promotions simply because this promotion was thrown off. So when I say like your your planning has to be on point so what i did is i just switched a few promotions around and now i have to film and edit this video today that i'm about to film not this video but the hygiene video and then post it tomorrow so it's like very tight deadlines baby so i should probably hurry up right <laughs> oh my gosh it's just it's definitely a lot but we're gonna go ahead and film this hygiene video do the sponsorship i need to actually sit down and really look through this brief i looked through it briefly but i need to make sure i know exactly what i'm doing you feel me okay girl let me go and you about to go to your daddy oh my gosh it's so gloomy what's tea anyways okay just finished filming i really have to update y'all on my life so while i while i update y'all we're gonna try to steam my curtains oh baby <laughs> very much curtains i didn't know how expensive curtain was curtains were until i went to buy some curtains that's why it took me so long to get curtains y'all see we got this whole huge wall of windows and they could see us outside well given this is like a private area like you can't see us because it's not like public but still one time a dog, <laughs> a literal, a literal, a lit a, a Dalmatian, like, is that how you say it? Dalmatian, girl, whatever, came running up back here. Thankfully, I wasn't outside, but what the freak? And Dalmatians are actually, like, aggressive. I would have just passed out right then and there. Okay, so we're going to try to steam these. I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below for y'all. It looks very yellow. It looks very just, it's, it's a lot. I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. So we're going to attempt to steam these currants while I talk about why I'm done breastfeeding. Yeah, you heard it here. So Genesis is about to turn four months and count me out. I'm done. Y'all, I, I gave it my best shot. I'm not about to lie. I gave it my best shot. Y'all know I was struggling for a minute and I realized like, listen, fed is best. And I know there's a lot of controversy around this controversy around this if you have anything negative to say talk to your mammy this is my personal decision a decision i made and that's just that on that she's still getting fed i actually am still breastfeeding but i'm trying to stop like i'm not just stopping i am weaning her off so i'm supplementing so she'll have like two bottles of formula every day and then the rest will be breast milk but i'm just trying to get my body to stop producing milk it basically is there because I was already on the brink of not producing anything. So it's just a lot going on. I'll show you guys a little bit later in the video what kind of formula she's on. She's on a really good formula and she's taking it well. Like she hasn't had any upset stomachs, no constipation. She's doing really well. So that's good. But yeah, I'm done. I'm done breastfeeding and it honestly feels so good. Y'all don't understand like even with 
the portable pumps i would still have to sit in a like stationary spot for 30 minutes every two hours and it was so much y'all it was just it was giving a lot it was taken away from my work it was taken away from just too much girl i was mentally stressed out if i didn't produce enough milk that day i was overwhelmed we went through all of our supply like our back supply so it was just a lot i was like i am not about to stress myself to jesus to the lord over this i am i gave it my best shot i genuinely can say that and that's that on that so no more pumping but what we are about to do we're going to um am i a tiktok girl yet or what like please don't play with me right now okay so one thing about me i don't read directions i will just assume water goes in here that's why like oh see look this is why i don't need directions when Javon, anything with directions, I give it to Javon because Javon's very tedious. He takes his time. I'm like, come on, what am I supposed to do? Just keep it simple for me. So I think water has to go in here. Okay, yep. Who needs directions, baby? I'm about to go put some water in here. Okay, water's in here. I'm also going to show you guys my office in this vlog. Um, I have an office and it's so beautiful. And I'm starting a podcast in 2023. Please, please don't do this to me, girl. But no, for real. I'm starting a podcast, so y'all better, you know. Baby, please, I just want to, I just want to steam my garden. Hold on. Okay, hold on now. It's on unlock. What does unlock mean? Hold on. Like, don't drop or do nothing weird. What's going on? Oh, please don't play with her. Okay, but actually steam, because what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, is this working? Wait, is this actually working? I think it's working. Hold on, girl. Oh no, see, y'all can't. Is this working or no? Let's see. See, this is my thing. What does this unlock mean? I don't want to unlock something I don't need to unlock. I think it's working. I can't tell if it's working. I'm like doing this so obnoxiously. Okay, let me try it on here. Yeah, basically, those are updates on my life. I stopped breastfeeding. I got curtains. I have an office now. And that's that on that. I finished my hygiene video, and I think it came out really good. So we'll see in post-production what it's talking about. Okay, let me, let me speak. See, this is why. Please don't trust me with this stuff. Okay, let me get these curtains nice and crispy. Also, did y'all see my new bedding? Oh my gosh, it literally took me, how long have we been in here? Three months, two months, two months to find the right bedding for, for our room. Cause it was just not giving. And I finally figured it out and I feel like now it's like the perfect hotel style bed. And then these curtains just set it off because these curtains are beautiful. Okay, let me finish steaming this and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's all like nice and steamed out. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's really the hotel of it all. She over here waking up, y'all. I'm being loud. It's the hotel of it all. Y'all niece, somebody better come get their niece because she is growing. She's growing so, uh-uh. Because she's literally growing up so fast. Like I know that's a cliche, but she's like trying to roll over. She has rolled, she has rolled over. She's just doing a lot and it's crazy to see. So that's it. I just want to show you guys my curtains. My curtains for out here. This is the living room area as y'all know. And girl, same situation. Like it was giving glass house. Like 
No, we need a little bit of privacy. So we went with some black, black me out type of curtains. Super, super cute. So I'm gonna steam these tomorrow because if I try right now, girl, my arm might fall off. But that's it for today, y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Getting ready to film. I don't know. Just trust the process. So I am about to film a clothing haul. I was really supposed to film it yesterday, but by the time I ended up finishing the first video I was talking about um, with y'all, I was just, I was tired. So we're gonna film the haul now and I'm just gonna do a little quick makeup. Favorite concealer ever, mine's in the color. Coconut Flakes, I don't use any primer y'all. I just like prep my skin really good with my skincare. I don't know why my camera is like looking so. Okay, so update. Um, I told y'all I was weaning off pumping and usually, well, when I was like pumping hardcore, I would wake up and obviously my boobs would be full, but right now they're not. Like girl, I literally haven't pumped all morning and it's like 10 and they don't feel full. So they're definitely starting to go down, which is good. But I was reading this book this morning. I got this yesterday, um, Woman Evolved. I love my good sister, Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts. And I listen to her podcast all the time and for whatever reason I haven't read her book, probably because up until last month, I hated reading. Like I genuinely hated reading and I was like, you know ma'am, ham. I really set a goal to start reading, even if I didn't feel like it. And it's been going really well. I finished When Women Pray. So that was my book of November. So my book of December is Women Evolve. And it's already off, so she already snatched my edges off. Let me tell y'all something. She said, What's this is a question for you. What's an area of your life where you continue to repeat a cycle that ends with you feeling less valuable? That, my dear, is your forbidden fruit. Now, consider how evolving for the better in that area would change your life. And I want to be really intentional when I read this book. I just don't want to like just skim through the book and finish it and be like, oh, I finished the book so I can feel good about myself. I really want to do the work when I'm reading this book. So I am like journaling, I am writing down notes as I'm going through this read. So I can really get what I need to get out of this. But that's just a question for you, whether you wanna answer that right now, whether you just wanna save that and put it on the back burner and answer it later. I really do want you to just sit down and answer that question because when we can identify the cycles we need to break, and I think even more when we can identify how our life would change when we break those cycles, that's where the real, you know what I mean? That's where the real comes in because if you can really identify how is my life going to change for the better if i break this cycle it gives you the motivation to actually break the cycle so just a little food for thought on this morning but i'm feeling really good y'all like i really am feeling good it's hot but like i don't want to just have my do y'all see what's going on okay also last night i um pressed out my hair so I blow dried my hair out with this. I saw it on TikTok and of course, your girl was influenced. It's too hot for all this. Um, your girl was influenced and I would say it definitely like, especially if you have tape in because it's hard to kind of blow dry your hair when you got tape in. I would definitely say that that is good to just really get a nice straight blow dry. It does not straighten your hair though. At least for me girl, it just blow dried my hair and then I went in and I curled it. So it is kind of like, I need to really press out my roots, but it was late, girl. I didn't feel like it. So I'm going to finish doing my makeup, y'all. And then we're going to go upstairs in my office. I'm going to show you guys my new office and we're going to film. But don't forget about that question I asked you. And get the book. I'm about to link it down below for y'all. We can read it together. Honestly, that would be fun if we could like read a book together every month. I like that. Okay. Okay. Book of December is The Woman Evolved by Bishop Sarah Jane Roberts, and you better get it. And we can talk about it, and we can make a group chat, and it can be a whole thing. So, answer the question. Okay, so quick little like office tour. So, over here is my desk. Okay, let me show you this way. Super simple, super like clean, open, creative feelings over here. Just got my MacBook, my little like decor my content calendar definitely recommend getting a whiteboard because my posting days change all the time depending on brands 
So I just like to move it around without ruining a paper calendar because like once you write in a paper calendar, it's set in stone. But this you can like erase everything. So here's that. We've got the podcast space where we're going to be doing our podcast. Oh my gosh. Love my chairs. They are so beautiful. I got them from 25 Home and they're just gorgeous. This is like our lounge area over there mirror hey girl hall space and then like it's crazy over here because that's where all my promotions are y'all don't understand i've literally gone months on end without having an office because at first when we were at the apartment my office got turned into the nursery and then when we moved here it's taken us like what two months to get it together so it's been a long time without an office but i'm excited to finally have an office space so i'm going to edit the video i filmed yesterday and i can't breathe I can't breathe. My hair is literally driving me insane, but it's okay. So I'm gonna edit the video I filmed yesterday. I'll show you Genesis. I haven't showed her in this video yet, but she's downstairs crying with her dad. So yeah, girl, today is just a work day. I'll update you a little bit later. Good morning. I love everything about you. Mommy's gotta get ready for brunch. Are you gonna miss me? Mommy's gotta get ready for brunch. Are you gonna miss me? I look crazy. I need a shower. Are you gonna miss your mama? Yeah. Yeah. But what else? Will you miss me? All right, y'all. It's Friday. Brunch date with my girl Brandy. So let's get ready. I'll probably talk to y'all when I'm all ready. Because it looks like I'm not in a rush, but I actually am in a rush. So let me hurry up and get ready. We are headed to brunch. Okay, so Javon's making fun of my like scarf, but I think it looks cute. Full fit. I don't even know. Um, I think this is pretty little thing, Javon's white fox. Um, Fashion Nova, don't know. And it's just a little mom goes to brunch type of vibe. Glasses, white fox, everyday jewelry. You know, JB Dub. I think it's a vibe. So we are headed to Toast. Me and my girl Brandy finally get to catch up. I have not seen her in forever. So I'm super excited about that. Javon is giving the girls. How's that? Vibes. Yeah, for sure. But my makeup turned out really good today. I tried something new on my lips. It's like more of like a peachy color. It's super gloomy. It's dark. That's why I'm wearing like dark colors, but it's super gloomy and dark um, But yeah, let's go to brunch. I'm so excited. Y'all have not left the house in like two weeks, girl Let's go. Y'all seriously don't know how long it's been since I've left the house. Girl, I be fighting The mom life is real. Like it's so real. But I'm so glad to be getting out I feel like I look so cute. Now I feel like I look cute Sorry, let's talk about the epidemic of this here crack pipe. <laughs> I don't know why claw clips have black women in chokeholds. I'm here for it. It just gives every time, especially because it's rainy. Like, these tapings are not about to play me, especially because my hair's straight. Like, no, ma'am, Pam. Just no. Oh, dang, I haven't even prayed today. Hold on, girl. You know what we gotta do. You know what we gotta do. I can't just be out and about without prayer. I need the blood of Jesus. You wanna pray with me? Okay, close your eyes. Father God, thank you. Whew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for a new day. 
thank you that I am living, I am breathing, I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm healthy, I'm happy, I have a beautiful family, Lord, thank you. I just pray covering, especially as it's raining, I pray for everybody driving, I pray that you cover everybody from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord, keep us covered, keep us safe. Lord, I pray safety and declare safety over myself, over my followers, over their families, over my family, Lord. In such a troubling time, we just need your safety. We need your covering. We need your blood all over us. So I just pray that. Lord, I just pray for joy. Not for us to wait for joy. Not for us to wait for something to happen that makes us feel joy. But to have joy in this moment simply because we're alive. Simply because we're healthy. And simply because we have the opportunity to walk out the purpose that that you have put on our lives so lord i thank you for today i honor you for today i just pray that you are near to me i pray that my spirit is sensitive to anything you have to say i pray that your will will prevail on today i pray that you move on today my spirit and my sister's spirit is open to receive everything it is you have for her over today help us to be good stewards over over today not to procrastinate not to be lazy but to execute give us the spirit of execution father god that we do all things through your spirit let us work through your spirit let us go to school through your spirit let us play our sports through your spirit let us mother through your spirit let us be entrepreneurs through your spirit father god but i just pray it's through you and not through our own ability not through our own way of thinking lord but that your spirit is legitimately on us and moving on today so lord i thank you i honor you and i praise you in jesus mighty name amen anytime girl don't be stepping out that house without prayer seriously like Life is crazy. This world is crazy. You don't know what can happen. I actually want to testify real quick. So I had COVID the week of Thanksgiving. Coincidentally, is that even a word? Girl, whatever. Basically, our whole family came up. I had COVID. And if I wasn't sick, we would have been, you know, lit. I would have been trying to show them Atlanta. It would have been a fun situation. So a few of Javon's cousins and Javon ended up going to, um, what's it called? Atlantic Station they went to Atlantic Station on Friday girl the next day at Atlantic Station there was a whole shootout and somebody passed like there was a whole shootout y'all what if we were what if I was feeling good feeling all great didn't have COVID and we went on Saturday you know it's just like sometimes God God be sitting you down for a reason like God sees everything in the full scope we're just looking at it from right here so I was mad was healthy what if we went to Atlantic Station one day later like what you know it's always the what if so I'm just really thankful and I just want to testify for the covering of the blood of Jesus and what prayer can do oh okay so now I'm really feeling it because I've been reading when women pray I actually finished it I told y'all I think I told y'all yesterday but I finished it and when I say I'm just really proud of myself first of all because to be honest besides the Bible like that's one of the only books I read this year from front to back like I can say that and it sounds like dang girl but I'm proud of myself because I want to be a reader I want to be somebody who enjoys reading because there's so much knowledge and wisdom in books and it's kind of just like an outlet especially with my career as like I'm a social media influencer I'm always on social media I really like to have something that just is completely offline no phone no iPad needed just a book so I've been reading and when women pray whoo baby it had me in tears so many times but if you read any chapter please read chapter six the Samaritan woman it really just it hit home because sometimes we really genuinely be trying to run from God trying to hide from God but we serve a God who will come find you and who will meet you exactly where you are like the Samaritan woman she was definitely I would say like unconventional in that time and she had a lot of haters and she isolated herself because of that because of the hate because of the gossip she isolated herself and one day Jesus met her he met her at a well he said I'm gonna come find you and it was it touched my heart in a different way because sometimes we're not the best children to our father we don't show up how we should but to know that we serve a God who will come and find us and say no I picked you for a reason it just oh my god like oh my gosh honestly 
so the new year's coming up and tomorrow i'm gonna sit down and write my goals down please y'all before the new year comes be intentional about what you want out of 2023 don't just spend another year winging it that's my best advice i could ever give you please don't wing life be intentional about life and what you want out of life so i'm going to sit down and write my goals that's spiritual goals financial goals relationship goals it's like i have goals for all aspects of my life so i'm really excited about 2023 and everything that has to bring i'm being very particular about what i'm allowing in my spirit what i'm allowing around me and really just like stewarding my life in the best way possible i really want to fast the first week of um the new year when i fasted in october i don't know if y'all see but like praise god all glory to god but he has opened up so many doors for me like in my career he has just opened up a lot of things in my spirit allowed me to like come to terms with certain things there was just a lot of release that happened when i fasted and there's so many spiritual elements to fasting that are so important like god talks about the power of prayer and fasting sometimes we'd be praying 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 but to really get that breakthrough you need to fast and my biggest advice with fasting is don't just take something away you need to be adding you need to be filling your spirit during your fast like i when i say fast i mean like i'm not trying to watch tv i'm not trying to be on social media i'm trying to be as much in the presence of god as i can possible so i think i'm gonna do a daniel's fast the first week if you guys are interested in that we can do it together i think that would be really fun and encouraging and it would start the year off on a really positive note and it would just set our intentions that we're not playing about 2023 um i think life is literally what you make it and life is about perspective and in 2023 i'm just praying over everybody that their perspective is positive and that we can really crush it in 2023 because 2022 it was life-changing for me i mean babe i got married i got a kid we got a house like it's a lot so what can god do in 2023 who knows <sighs> i am excited about this new year um there's definitely parts of my life i want to really start unpacking and just really healing all over the place so i hope we're doing it together we need to do it together like y'all are seriously my best friends <laughs> like i didn't vlog for two weeks and i was like where are my friends at like where are my good sisters like i can't even call y'all up right now so i'm just glad to be back vlogging i just don't know girl this podcast in 2023 is gonna be bomb diggity down same podcast topics it's gonna be a whole thing like i'm so excited i'm in a really good mood now after that prayer i feel like that prayer just got me in a way better mood <sighs> the power of prayer the power of prayer so like i told y'all yesterday i want to do monthly reads with y'all as well so this month we're reading woman evolve because baby we're trying to evolve before the new year so i hope everybody can pick up woman evolve i'm gonna have it linked down below and sarah if you're ever watching one of my videos you are legitimately like my best friend in my head out of all of y'all y'all know like i watch a lot of youtubers and all that type of stuff but out of everybody i've ever watched and sarah's not even an influencer she's a pastor but she just has a strong social media presence after everybody i've followed and you know subscribed to and liked and did all this sarah has had the most impact on me and i think that is so important we can't get caught in the culture too much y'all i know like the aesthetics are cool i know that like you know the fashion's cool the soft life lifestyle's cool the black girl luxury it's all cool but i don't want it to just stop there and i never want my channel to turn into that of course i love to give the girls aesthetics and all that type of stuff but that's not my main priority that's not what i was put on earth to do no man pam i was put on earth to bring souls to the kingdom and don't get so trapped in social media that you forget about the power that actually could be connected to social media like i have influence over people to influence them to the kingdom of god like i might influence you to buy a little shirt or buy a product or whatever but my main priority is to influence you to the kingdom of god and just that's just that on that so i want to make that very 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 clear because especially as everybody's trying to be an influencer and everybody wants to be a lifestyle influencer that's cool but baby keep me in the lane of the kingdom okay and that's a prayer that you know i pray like god don't let me get lost in the sauce and i pray that over you as well don't get lost in the sauce girl like at the end of the day 
What matters is my purpose. And my purpose is to bring women to the kingdom of God, to bring women to healing, to bring women to the feet of Jesus Christ himself, okay? So don't get it twisted. We keep it cute, we keep it classy, but we also keep it real kingdom minded over here. <laughs> I love that for me. Like I really, I, that's one thing I could really be proud of because like, it's hard to be different out here you know everybody's the same and that's cool like that's cool like i am influenced by a lot of influencers as well so 100 percent, i get it but you also need to realize like how powerful and how special you as an individual are without any influence without trying to be like anybody else you as a person your character your likes your dislikes like your charisma all of that is very very important and don't lose that girl don't lose that don't lose that don't lose that so that's my little spiel for today we about to head to brunch it's gonna be a vibe i can't wait to see my good sis so i'll talk to y'all later headed to breakfast on this Saturday morning okay so it's a little colder I don't know if you can see but we have her in like a little warm why well, an island now she is such a fake I can't he was just crying crying so now you don't want your bing bing anyways y'all good morning um we're headed to a little like family breakfast this Saturday morning. Javon hasn't gotten out the house all week. So we decided to go to breakfast together. And yeah, just going to enjoy each other's company. I haven't really shown baby girl this vlog, but she's just been chilling, y'all. She just be minding her business. So I'm getting her all strapped up. Like I said, it's like 50 degrees out, so it's a little cooler. So we got her in this like warm, fluffy onesie so she can stay nice and warm. Where did Bing Bing go? But she's just gonna sleep this car ride because she's sleepy right now. She hasn't taken a morning nap yet. Update on how like stopping my milk supply completely is going. I haven't pumped at all today and my boobs don't hurt. They don't feel full. So my supply is definitely decreasing, which is good because we done with it. Oh, okay. So, so this is the formula that we have her on. I did so much research y'all and everybody kept talking about this. So it's a Happy Baby Organic and it's modeled after breast milk. I love this, y'all. She had no problem transitioning. We slowly transitioned her. We would add like one bottle every couple days and now she's up to like full formula feedings every day. So this is really great and it was a great transition for us. So if you're looking into like supplementing, this is a great brand. Since we are using formula, we do have a prebiotic and postbiotic that she uses so this is her prebiotic you'll put it says to put five milliliters in every morning bottle well it doesn't have to be a morning bottle but i do it in the morning but i put two and a half because she's not six months yet she's only four so i put two and a half of this every day and then five drops of her probiotic not a postbiotic sorry a probiotic and yeah she's not feeling it speaking of vitamins i'm gonna take my vitamins today I still do my ritual essentials. I do two of these. I really like these. And y'all, I've been super consistent with my vitamins where if I don't take them, I feel it 100%. And then I take, this is also from Ritual. This is their um, multivitamin. Love this. I really like Ritual stuff for real. And then I've got a complete gut health. Let me go get her, y'all. Okay, so I'm also taking vitamin D. Gotta get that immune support. People be sick out here. Ooh. and i literally ordered my primrose oil because i take primrose oil and if you have like hormonal imbalance oh my gosh it's literally a game changer so i ordered another bottle of my primrose oil amazon said it was delivered it was never delivered i had to reorder it whatever and then i'm literally almost out of this but we're gonna go ahead and take it this is turmeric because it supports antioxidant health it's also good for like anti-inflammatory 
Last, I'm taking an immunity shot because y'all, y'all know I got over COVID in two days and that's because I really be on my immune stuff. So this is the elderberry shot. I'm about to take this. Here's what it looks like. So we're gonna go to breakfast and then we have to run a couple of errands. I can't find my SD card anywhere, y'all. And I was just editing a video last night and I need that SD card for this vlog. So hopefully we can find it. But okay, boom. So this is what we have to do. We're gonna go to breakfast. We need to go to Whole Foods and then I need to make a couple of returns. But I wanna save these until I get to breakfast. I don't like taking like supplements or anything on an empty stomach. It always makes me queasy. So I'm gonna put these in a plastic baggie. And we will be headed out very shortly. Cause I got it on me. You know I got it on me. Another day with the graves. Also, did y'all see my new profile picture and my YouTube banner I just made it yesterday? Javon's in the cut. How you feeling today, baby? I feel good. I just hear my beard, y'all. You look good. I feel really like I good. did pretty good. Look at the skin. Come on, skinny oh, oh, Yana. Bro, bro. I'm getting back on skin. Mm. It was getting dry. Yeah, see, never that. You have to be on your skincare. All right, talk to y'all a little bit later. Ooh. 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 Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, in yeah, my mind. Yeah, in yeah, my mind. I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five on my eyes. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. Just got home. Remember that evening primrose I was talking about? It came in. So we're gonna take these. These have been life changing for some people with like hormone issues. And especially with having a baby girl, my hormones are all over the place. So one daily it says. We're gonna see. And this brand specifically is supposed to be good. I'll link them down below. We're gonna see. We just got home. We went to Whole Foods, Aldi. Publix, girl, we was everywhere. Ooh. I know some people who like can't take, that was a pretty big pill, who like can't take big pills. Girl, I just be swallowing them like, but here's how big it is. So if you don't like big pills, you're not gonna like that, but. <sighs> My husband got me some flowers. I'm going to do a hack I saw. Well, somebody commented on my video and they told me like a concoction to make for my flowers to make them last longer. So we'll try that. I initially had white roses, but then I found these and I think it would be cute because I need to replace, I need to replace these dying roses. I mean, they just look sick. Girl. What else? Whoa. So if you like, by the way, all these is owned by Trader Joe's. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, so I get these, they're crab cakes. I love these for like a quick, easy lunch. Put this in the air fryer with some white rice. Boom, boom, boom. Such a quick and easy meal. And then we're gonna try out this dessert this week. It's gelato sandwiches. Girl, let's hope. So yeah, I'm gonna unpack everything and we're just gonna chill out. It's just a Saturday. Tomorrow we'll be going to church and everything like that. Genesis is starting to grab her toys, starting to bite on her toys. It's insane. Like she's literally growing before my eyes. It's crazy. Like you're really growing up. And she be trying to eat this toy crazy. Like it better be that good. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to put my flowers away, um, put the groceries away, and I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow when we're getting ready to go to church. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life. I don't even know if that's the lyrics. Okay, what's up, y'all? How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Why? Because I'm fasting.
Baby, we on a water fast. We on a water fast. And honestly, it's crazy because girl, I had to go pray in the car because I was two minutes away from Chick-fil-A me, please. But I was like, spirit of the true and living God, please fall fresh. And he did. So Javon and I decided before the new year, like I told y'all earlier in this vlog, I wasn't playing. We wanted to fast just to really set our intentions right for the new year. We're not playing 2023. It's about to give everything and more. And in order for that to happen, we need to be in great alignment in our spirit. So. We're fasting. This morning we went to Genesis's four month checkup, got her shots and everything. Then we ran to Target. And I wanna show you guys what I got. Um, it's really nothing crazy, girl. We just got some re-up on wipes. You guys know, Pamper Pure wipes. We tried to go a different route with some wipes. We just grabbed some from a grocery store because we needed something quick. And I swear, no wipes compared to those. Um, So she is four months, so we're going to be starting her on her rice. So or not the rice, the cereal. This is the Power Blend Probiotics. You know, to start introducing her to a little bit more of something, not food food, but just a little bit of something, especially because she now is supplementing with the formula. I feel like she gets hungrier faster. So we're gonna try and see, put that in like one of her bottles a day. Nothing crazy. Some more of these because baby, she needed some more for her bottles. And then this, um, my good sis Brandy put me on. This is a formula dispenser for when you go out and about. Cause I was like, okay, I know with breast milk, it lasts like four hours so I can go out quick with the breast milk or I can just pump on demand. But now that she's on formula, um, I was like, how do we do this girl? So my good sis said, grab one of these, the formula dispensers. I guess the formula goes in here, the water goes in here, but it's separated, then you mix it when it's time to eat. And y'all know baby girl is teething. So this is the Itsy Mitty. And basically, she'll just put this on. I'm going to wash this and give it to her. So she's always putting her hands in her mouth. So now she'll be able to. Hey, mama. Oh, you want to say hi to everybody? You you got your shot. She got her shot. So she's not, you know, all the way there. Oh, but you're happy. Hi, baby. She happy. I think she boo boo. What's up, y'all? Well, she was making the little grunts. Mommy got this for you, baby. This for your hand so you can bite your hand. What do you think about it? Yeah, she likes it. She's and, so nice. oh wait, mama, look at what else I got you. This is for when we go to New York. This is her like coat. Oh, yeah, oh, New her York, coat coat. a little Timberlands. Your little, your little, this is your coat. Your little a AVX. You get your little New York This is literally swag. the cutest thing ever. Are you kidding me? It's so soft. So we're going to New York. I didn't even tell him. We're going, we're doing like, I, I think like every year now, during this time, during the holidays, we do like a, family road trip situation so we'll drive down to ohio spend some time with family there see everybody drive to new york spend some time there that's where my family is drive back to ohio drive back to atlanta so it's gonna be a whole thing i am gonna vlog it so stay tuned for our holiday weekly vlog because it's gonna get but oh my gosh this is so cute she's gonna look like a little teddy bear they had like a rose gold one and i wanted that one but they didn't have it in six months so i was like okay this one's cute so cute she's gonna be so just baby my baby my baby my baby my baby and let me make sure it's six months because yeah so real cute but i think that's gonna be it for this vlog y'all honestly that was my life that was my week and i hope you enjoyed it i am we are embarking on this fast and i really encourage you to fast as well especially with a new year coming there is power there is transformational life changing life altering mm -hmm. power in fasting mm -hmm. and do your research on it um i would def i'm gonna leave a link down below from dr miles monroe he is somebody um that we listen to a lot and he has a lot of great messages is this blurry if you need a whole dissertation on fasting i'm gonna leave a link down below for you i highly encourage that you listen to it and, and just get all the information that you need to embark on your fast we're doing a three-day water fast for the new year writing down our intentions being in prayer basically 24 7 girl because i don't know how i'm gonna get through this if i'm not praying if you like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and baby i'm gonna see you next Video. Mm -hmm.